Okay, don't say anything crazy. Okay, I will do my best. No promises. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? Doing good. How are you guys? Pretty good. It's fucking snowing. Yeah, dude, it's, uh, it's real greasy up here today. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, I drove I, over to Dan's house, slipping and sliding the whole way. Hell yeah. I uh, I just moved up to uh, Milwaukee from fucking Texas, and I moved Ooh. here right after it snowed, so that was fun. Welcome to hell. <laughs> hell yeah, brother. Milwaukee, which is Algonquin for the good land. Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Classic Wayne's World quote. Is hell that, yeah. Is that where you get that from? Okay. I'll turn my hat backwards to you. We're, we're, oh, we're backwards, hat the backwards hat gang. Hat Hell yeah. Big backwards hat gang. Yeah, dude. Sick, man. Nice t-shirt you got on there, dude. Hell yeah. Gotta rep them. Ravenous in the back. Is that an Apex flag, too? Uh, That's Abyss. Oh, it's a, yeah, or Abyss. Oh, it over, yeah, yeah. And then what's the one on... Well, our that right. one is Wilderun. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Did did Unleash the Archers announce their album title already? I don't think they is did. it gonna be. Is it gonna start with an A? It'd be one word: Abyss, Apex. What 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 else could it be? Ash Ashfall. Ashfall could be. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. We're, we're leaking the new. We're leaking the new uh, Astral UTA album. Could be Astral. Astral. That could be good. That'd be good. Adjacent. <laughs> Adjective. Um, yeah, we're just coming up with now. Yeah. Just, just to point out, Pete's a little bit quiet on my end. I'm oh, like, I could also. Oh. Yeah, we got dialed. That's that's why. There yeah, that's because his mic wasn't on. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> I'll just got pick me up on yours. Now, am I too loud? No, no, you guys are good now. Okay. Holy so, nice. fuck! Shut him up now. Holy. I didn't even think about that. I, I pushed the line on that so that it wouldn't. I don't know. Classic Dan thinking about nobody but himself. God, turn myself it. way up. Turn like everybody a down. Typical singer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice man. So, uh, what do you figure? You got some questions for us, or do you want to just shoot the shit? We're good for whatever. Um, I figure just kind of shoot the shit. I took some notes because I knew that if I went into this not having anything prepared, I would forget anything I would have thought to say. Um, my first question is, is there a story behind Brawl at the Pub? Hmm. Oh, not really. No, it's it's sort of more of just like, um, I don't know. It's just, I don't know why we wrote a song about that. I just thought it would be funny to write a song about a, a fight at a bar. Like, yeah, it, it's just something that happens sometimes. I mean, if you're out having beers every now and then, some people get rowdy and, and shit gets a little bit too crazy. So, I don't know. You ever fight anybody at a bar? It's uh, been a long time. No, <laughs> I, I, yeah, but it's been a long, 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 long time. I don't get into a habit of doing stuff like that, yeah. if, I, if I can help it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, the first the first time I heard that song and like started paying attention to the lyrics, I'm like, what the fuck is happening? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> There's some why crazy is, Australian guy here. Yeah. Why is Dan British? Or British. Yeah, Was it dude. British or Australian? Yeah, British. Yeah, yeah. Are they like that's like the, the theme of the song is like, pub, you know, yeah. like a classic uh UK pub brawl. Yeah. Throwing chairs Just and shit. Blast. <laughs> Isn't that what they call and it? Then and then listening, the more I listen to that song, I'm just like, if they redid Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, like now, that would be the perfect song to put during like the mall scene where they're running from the mall cops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, those are some great movies. Oh, absolutely. Part two is it's it's one of my my all time favorites. Always will be. Yeah, the uh, part one's my favorite. Oh, they're both. Yeah. Did you see the new one there? I did. Yeah. I enjoyed the new one for what yeah. it was. Yeah, I don't I don't think it could have gotten close to one and two, but it was still good on its own. 100%. I'm pretty I sure agree. we drove by the... I don't know which tour it was on, but I remember someone being like, this is the Circle K from the movie. Oh, shit. In somewhere just outside of LA or something. I feel like you could say that about any Circle K, though. Maybe, <laughs> maybe like, yo, dude, my, my Circle K is the one. <laughs> but yeah, maybe. I don't know. 
Yeah. They actually filmed it at a Circle K in Montana. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it was like a sound stage or something. And they built one inside of a studio, and it was yeah. like completely separate. Uh, I don't know, but yeah. yeah. Roof. And then I heard they tore it down. Oh, shit. a lot of lore about the Circle K. Oof. I don't know. Didn't Circle K bought Max? Like we used to have a convenience store here called Max M A C apostrophe S. And then Circle K bought that. Now all the Max in Canada are Circle K's. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, damn. I used to go to the Max all the time. Yeah. Down by the Max. Just... Crack Max. We had a place called <laughs> Crack Max in the, the... So there's a city just south of Edmonton where we live called Calgary. I used to live there. And um, there's uh, the downtown, kind of sketchy area downtown. Well, it's actually not that sketchy, but the one corner is really sketchy. It's just where people, it's where people are peddling you know shitty drugs and stuff right um and it's just a shitty convenience store and we used to call it crack max but now it's a crack circle k and it just doesn't have the same ring to it anymore what? it's like oh hell yeah, yeah circle man. cracks circle cracks hey that could work yeah. there you go <laughs> they're doing ketamine down at the circle k hey there you hell go. yeah, yeah okay. circle ketamine yeah, we haven't run out of monikers <laughs> nothing <laughs> says party like on a friday night like doing ketamine in a circle k right that's where we were getting that McDonald's that one night when those drunk girls came up to us and were like, oh, you guys definitely won't rape us. Oh, yeah, dude. That was, was super <laughs> weird. That's what they said. We're like, what? There's like four drunk girls just come running up to us. Oh, you guys look like you wouldn't rape us. And we're like, well, glad we're giving off that vibe. I mean, man, I got to I got to go that way. Yeah. I got to order the worst McDonald's I've ever had in my life yeah. at like two in the morning. <laughs> that was. Yeah, it was horrible. Well, yeah, well, you, you're right, but um, we don't really want to hang out with you. Thanks. Uh, see ya. That is why would why would you say that to someone? I guess it's their way of telling us that's we fucking seem like Zoomer dead. pickup, dude. That's a Zoomer pickup line. Yes, maybe <laughs> maybe we just yeah, they're trying to pick yeah, us up. Maybe right. We're just too old We're to catch like, on. To the way. God damn. <laughs> Whoops. Lord. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, another question I got is what were your guys' favorite song to record on the new album? Ooh. Hmm. Dan got you had to do some you got to do play with some funny stuff, eh? Like you had oh, the shock shit. box going the, on. Yeah, the, the boat quarter. The, the uh megaphone and shit. That must yeah, be fun. The uh in, in City Calling, the like the verses and all that wacky stuff with the vocoder, quarter, we like set it all up and I had to like put the tube in my mouth and stuff. It was really weird. It's it was, pretty strange. It was like hard. <laughs> I had to like learn how to do it. Like it's not it's not as easy as you think, right? Like you it, right. it shoots the noise like you you use a tube and it it sends the noise into your mouth and then you shape the words with your mouth to mm -hmm. like make it talk or make it like actually like distinguishable word, yeah. but Takes the shape of your mouth and makes the vowel sound out of it. Yeah. Yeah, but it was like it, it it took us forever. We spent like a fucking whole afternoon trying to figure out how to get that to work. And that thing was turned up super loud too. Because you yeah. had to have that other speaker. So it was just like <laughs> 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 studio for like a day. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Yeah. That was cool. Um, what about me? Oh, geez, what's my favorite one? I don't know. I think give it all maybe for me, because I Ah, I, I got to get a little bit, a little bit creative on the bass there. Like a lot of, um, you know, the style of music, um, um, on bass, there's a lot of me kind of just following along what's going on and just holding down the root with the rhythm. Right. But, um, I got to get a little, I got to break a little out of that box on that song. So I think that was enjoyable for me. Um, that and city calling as well. There's a little nice. bit of, a little bit of funk in there I got to put down. So. Yeah, give it all's give it all's a great track, and I love the saxophone on it. Nice. Yeah, it worked out think, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I think the sax was a great touch. Sweet. <laughs> now we got to um, just one of us just has to learn how to play it. Yeah. <laughs> I, so preferably so, the one who doesn't have to hold another instrument. Yeah, uh, I tried. So uh, so for the music video, I I just rented that saxophone. Yep. And then I I, I tried playing it, and I was like, this is fucking tough. Like, it's hard. It's just like a. I also realized afterwards that I was using it wrong in the video, Shit. like Whoops. like I was pressing the wrong buttons. There's like the there's the um they're like white ivory little keys. Yeah, 
and I was pressing like all the metal ones, which are like the ones you do to like augment the notes that you're actually playing. Oh, that's so huh. anybody who plays a uh, saxophone would probably watch that and be like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" <laughs> this guy oh, but I mean, that was the point. That was the point in the video, guys. You got a mask on though. Just don't don't let don't let anybody know who it is. Yeah. Like, yeah, we just hired some homeless guy to play the saxophone <laughs> in the video. Like, he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we couldn't we couldn't get we couldn't quite afford to fly Randy Villers all the way up here just to, just for that. Yeah, I don't even think you would want to. No, probably not. <laughs> Canada? Fuck. I don't, I don't want to go up there. These guys. This guy's probably 80 something now. It's got to be up there. Yeah. Yeah. Um and then speaking of uh, the music videos, how much did filming sucks to suck hurt? <laughs> oh my god, dude. We got we got pretty banged up. So it was it was the deal was in order for us to do the video we had to do the uh like the the training so that we could right. learn how to not get fucking killed even though we did get killed anyways but um so we did like three evenings of learning to take a bump right like falling and yeah doing bumps. doing front flips and falling on the mat and stuff like that um and then he'd slowly start taking mats away like you'd start with a thick one and then he'd take that away and it'd be a thinner one and then he'd take that one oh. away and then it'd be one and then he'd take it away and then pretty soon you're just smashing right on the floor right yeah, yeah. and i mean and then he then he told us he's like yeah this this ring is like a bit of a, on the harder side and we're like oh, oh, shit. Fucker. damn so you mean there's soft That's good to know rings in this i guess yeah um Better yeah, train Diamond got it the worst. He did, didn't he? Yeah. It, with that one like power bomb he took or oh, whatever. Fuck. Did, that was like a legit like he got fucking destroyed on that one. Yeah, it was bad. It was like it's it's so easy to think like it's like okay, I know how to I know you got to like put your arms down, tuck your tuck your chin in yeah. and all that stuff, but yeah, like yeah. when it's happening and you're like flying through the air, it's sort of like it's hard to remember everything. Yeah, it's hard to be like okay, I better breathe out and tuck my chin it's just For like sure. no you just get slammed so much going through your brain like oh, yeah or nothing going through your brain really it's just it just goes white and you're like oh no yeah. the mat's going through your brain <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, <much. laughs> yeah that's, that's pretty much how it goes yeah yeah and then um how was your how was your big slam did you how'd you feel after that um, i think we decided to only do it once the one from the top turnbuckle yeah that one's not bad um the the thing is is if you're landing on the mat at the same time your opponent is also landing on the mat and you're both absorbing the impact, it's nowhere near as bad as when you have to fall on your back by yourself. That's that makes the worst. Sense. Yeah. Because you're then like the less the less surface that there is to take up that impact, the more it's gonna hurt, right? Yeah. Um, but the worst part for me was on the first day, I was like, I was all about, yeah, you know, pro wrestling, you got to get hit by a chair, right? You got to get hit <laughs> by a chair. chair. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get hit by a chair. I can't wait. So I was like, so what's the technique to get hit by a chair? And he's like, there is no technique. You just got to suck it up and take it. He's got to get hit. <laughs> you just got to get hit. And so he was like, you know, round out, don't round out your back, try and flatten it as much as you can. That's about all you can do. And then he hit me with the chair at apparently what was 20% of his full swing and it was 20 percent was plenty and i was like no more chair let's do the garbage can instead because <laughs> yeah the chair, chair ain't no joke man fuck i had bruised back for like a week from the chair god damn man even like like bouncing off the ropes and stuff even that like i had a big bruise across yep. my back from like bouncing on the ropes big red marks oh, across the back yeah because sure, those are yeah. cables that are just taped up right basically yeah yeah it's they're not soft they're at not, all no, no yeah and aren't they supposed to be like like wound super tight or something so they're there's not like a ton tight. give yep yep they're pretty tight i mean you can bounce off of them but it's yeah. like it's not like a nice bounce it's like <laughs> It's like running into right. a steel cable, yeah. right? Yeah. And he'll make you run them like after you kind of learn how to run the ropes just for like warm ups and stuff and for practice. He'll make you run them for like a minute straight. And then, like, well, that was just us, but like the guys Ugh. who train there all the time, he'll make them run for like five minutes nonstop. Oh um, and it's like you, you start running them for a long period of time like that. And yeah, your back gets a bit chewed up for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I took that <laughs> pretty I took wild, a pretty big slam too. That one, you that, did. I was like, <laughs> I, we're only filming this one time, <laughs> you know? and that, that like big slam where you just dropped me on the mat, it it was like it hurt so much. The... It wasn't like 
driver or what what is it yeah what's uh, uh death valley driver death valley yeah. driver yes. yeah side that one i fucking just like i landed and it was like my entire back hurt immediately it's just like oh so it's just like a real reaction it's just like oh you're not even oh. selling it it's like, <laughs> just like legitimately hurt but it was worth it yeah it was a lot of fun yeah i think that's my favorite music video of the four yeah of the four you did nice although best of the best is still just shenanigans oh yeah oh yeah any excuse to go jet skiing man yeah <laughs> it's like but oh, yeah. it's like how do we top what do we do now like we we've gone all out best of the best jet skis we went wrestling what what else is there getting shot in the face and go to north korea and just get like get chased killed. by the army or something oh dude it'll be a it'll be a gopro we try we go to mexico try and get in the southern border of the state nice, it's nice. just it's just gopro something. oh dude it's perfect for blood magic because it's got that cowboy <laughs> theme yeah, yeah oh god damn to... let's go that'd be good man there's a there's the next video idea yeah. sweet don't uh, tell anybody an illegal border crossing with gopros <laughs> <laughs> Oh, one guy got caught. Oh, oh shit. He actually got shot. No. Oh, shit. Band, band's over. Oops. <laughs> he died. Everybody's in jail. Yeah. Uh, next album we write from the penitentiary. Oh, yeah. It'd yeah. be the hardest one. For oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Either that or it'd just be a bunch of us crying. <laughs> it's all sad songs. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bitch the, al- oh. the The album is just called Sucks to Suck. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, it's sucker be sucked world, man. Sucker be sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Um. Oh, the uh, speaking of just, I guess just the aesthetic for the band recently. I love Simon's Marlboro jacket. That <laughs> thing is just. I know, right? Pretty man. It it's funny. He takes such such good care of it too. And, like he'll get it dry cleaned and shit. Yeah. Like just, oh yeah, yeah incredible um oh so speaking of the seven kingdom shirt i was talking to cam earlier today and like a week or so ago about being on here and he requested that i tell you guys to get him on the podcast oh Oh, yeah yeah that's a great idea now that we figured out how to do it yeah we can do it it just took us it just took us actually like you know five seconds to be like oh just re- press record on zoom yeah it's like, all right we cool. actually had now we can do it <laughs> i have five seconds yeah although yeah. is he coming is he coming through with any bands he'll be coming through on that wait a minute wind race. yeah there's a stop on was it his tour or was it the oh world um i know i want to say with the windrose tour because i believe he's ah. tming for that i, I think, think they're playing in Edmonton? Yeah, I do remember him Probably. seeing um a se- uh Seven Kingdoms tour poster and it said Edmonton on it and I commented saying, "Yo, see you in Edmonton, bro," or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. We're here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if he's not too <laughs> if he's not too busy, right? Like that's another thing. We'd have to probably bring our setup to him. That's true, yeah, cuz if mm-hmm. he's going to be TMing and playing, he's going to be a busy boy. Plus he's doing his photography thing. Yeah, man. Shit. He's he grinding. Chill. He's grinding. He'd be on that grind. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, also, when are you guys going to tour with Seven Kingdoms again? Because I need that in my life. We're uh, we're talking about it already for this year. We're chatting. Yeah, we're we're, chatting. we just oh, got to figure yeah. it out, right? Like yeah. we, um, because we're gonna come down for Prog Power, and then hopefully we can get some dates around around that time. Yeah. So. Funny story about you guys getting announced for Prog Power. I was at uh, Prog Power last year. Mm. Um, I wasn't there attending. I was actually, I ended up uh, last year, I started doing merch for Seven Kingdoms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, and so I was at Prog Power. I go into the theater for the roster announcement for this year. And I could hear the like fade in of Too Late. And I think I blew out my voice screaming. <laughs> yeah, boy. And nice. it was like, I think it was the first five notes and I knew what song it was. I'm just like, ah. 
Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and right then on. uh one of my friends was not too far away. He didn't realize I was like three people behind him. And he said he just heard someone screaming, that's fucking striker. Nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm stoked. That's gonna be so much fun. It I will mean, be we, fun. We've we've like that's that festival's been on our radar for a long time. Like uh um Chris. Mm formerly of the band mm -hmm. uh him and ian another former band member <laughs> they went well, they went we to prog power in like 2000 it's like it was either 2006 or 2008 it was pretty early on in like uh the, the world of going to see shows like out of edmonton mm -hmm. and uh yeah they said they loved it it was sweet it was sick i think they said pretty dope what was it uh it was like they there was some sort of I don't know if this happens all the time at that festival, but they they do like some crossover sets where like some musicians will play with other musicians. Mm, those are fun. I think they yeah, said yeah. like Ralph Sheepers played with he sang something with someone. That's all. I love doing that, man. Back in Japan, bands do that all the time. Like if you play a show with another band, it's almost expected that at the end of both of your sets, some members of both bands are gonna get out and do at least one cover or like special version of something together yeah it's like it's, it's a given it's like everybody does it i thought yeah. i think it's awesome i don't think people around here don't do it enough yeah well, we had talked about that versus tour oh where, yeah where we were gonna do like some sort of like rivalry tour with a uh, uta that'd be sick and it would be like you know i don't know originally it was gonna be like a wrestling match or something <laughs> oh we have the upper hand for that one but we thought it'd be <laughs> funny because it's like imagine if you if you would like to mix a, a headline set like it, maybe that's insane to do but it would be like if one band played and then the next band played and then mm -hmm. the last set of the night was like both bands doing like covers or something like that together you know what would be sick is if you swapped and like so if you if it was a dual headline say if it was us and, and seven kingdoms for example at the end striker plays a seven kingdoms song and seven kingdoms plays a striker yeah, song that'd, that'd be, be so that would be, fucking that cool would be dude so much fun oh yeah yeah it's it's funny because it, like the uh the formula for shows is so standard now yeah it's like band plays bust out of the box man let's have some fun yeah. that's yeah. why we're not wearing black shirts anymore <laughs> <laughs> let's do something new yeah, we're not we're um <laughs> yeah um <laughs> there's red on that shirt or at least i think it's red yeah, it's oh, yeah. what is this shirt that's a brutal looking shirt yeah, it's, brutal, it's for all the people who say our songs are pop music bro yeah look to look at the <laughs> shirt that ain't pop i saw i saw a comment pop, it, it was like it was good. like circle of evil is uh is is like the only heavy song and and the rest is pop. And I was like, dude, turn I'm, the lights I'm, out is so not. Dude, I'm waiting for us to hit those pop charts. Yeah. Like, I can't wait. Yeah. It's so poppy. I can't wait to be on the <laughs> right? pop charts. Like, dude, where's that dude. Taylor Swift tour? Let's yeah, go. Exactly. I was just going to say that. Yeah. I'm like, bro. Super you're, Bowl? Come on. Like, your definition of pop is is fucked, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you think it <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> Yeah. Your definition of pop is is anything that isn't cattle decap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, like the 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 spectrum of of metal is like it goes to the most like insane extremes. Like, um, I wonder if that guy's even listened to fucking frog noise. I haven't listened to frog. You noise. haven't you haven't heard frog noise? I have not heard frog. What's frog no, noise? You, you know frog it. noise, Nick? No. No, you gotta look it up, man. It's it's a right. whole genre called frog noise. And I put it in my phone so that when we're done, I don't forget to look at frog noise. But it's like so. So I was talking to uh, to Dave Arnold, former bass player, to Arnold, and uh, he he said he was looking at this like metal iceberg. You oh, know, they no, have no. like the the first level is like oh yeah like heavy metal and new wave of British heavy metal and that kind of thing. And then it just keeps going farther and farther down. And then the very last one is like, uh, yeah, frog noise, uh, gore noise, like just shit like that. It's oh, just like genre. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> frog noise. I should, dude, you know what? I'm going to comment and be like, I bet you've never even heard this fucking band. Sick. Whatever the frog noise band is that Dave sent There's me. Some crazy band names too, like Lady Data. 
That's watch this. This ready. random guy's gonna have a tattoo of some frog noise band on his back. Then I, I would be so. Impre- I'd be like, well, yeah, you're right then. <laughs> you, okay, right, you we win. are. You popular. win. Yeah, <laughs> you win. Oh, you running over the dog? Dog. We got, we got a puppy here. Hell yeah. Dogs are the best. Aren't they? They're the coolest. Crotch shot. Nice. Hell yeah. yeah. There you go. Hi to Nick. That's that's what I backed the Patreon or the Kickstarter <laughs> for and the yeah. Patreon. Get that shit. Just like the Drake leak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of topical stuff right now. <clears throat> yeah, what happened? I don't know. He's got his dick out on Twitter or something like that. Oh, no way. I got blood coming out of my face. What happened? I don't know. Chop? (laughs) (laughs) Can't be that. What the hell's going on here? (laughs) Hey, Nick, you want to see inside my nose, buddy? No, I'm good. (laughs) I'm trying to find this frog noise. Where did it go? Minor flesh wound. Where did he send that to me? Minor Flesh Wound sounds like a band name. Minor Flesh Wound? Yeah. Sounds like it could be a punk band. Yeah. I always thought if I was in a punk band, I'd want to make my first album, I'd want it to be called um, Stool in My Blood. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Oh, man. You want to hear a... uh, So we started a band on tour one time as a joke, right? We always are. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And this one was... Striker, uh, bl- yeah, <laughs> that's how we became. <laughs> this one was a uh, blasphemous orifice, <laughs> yeah. and the first and the album title was going to be Blast from, from This Orifice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's uh, good. I did record a song, so if you find it out, you can find it. It's called Covered in Shit, <laughs> <laughs> it's on SoundCloud <laughs> somewhere. Uh, it's just like, uh it's just you know have you guys watched dumb and dumber or or whatever like the second one yep yeah uh where where the bob saget is the dad and and the guy shits all over the bathroom oh yeah and he's like there's shit everywhere so i just <laughs> used those audio clips as the lyrics to the song it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> truly a r- remarkable bob track legend. <laughs> damn man i can't find this fucking frog band a sec i'll find it frog noise frog noise i know of a uh, frog leap studios is that guy who does metal covers of oh like, yeah stuff. that guy's kind of interesting he's got good covers he does yeah yeah he blew up on the internet and then now he's on tour all the time yeah good for him yeah all right dude oh here we go here we go oh oh boy here's some frog noise i don't hear anything <laughs> I got nothing. Nope. It's it's probably like, it's probably like, doesn't want me to know. It's probably Zoom, like, uh, because it's just probably, it assumes it's white noise. noise. Yeah. 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 (laughs) (laughs) Probably. It basically sounds like brutal grind death metal stuff with like a guy singing like a frog croaking. Yeah. So it's, this one is called, Philo Philo Medusa, P H Y L L O M E D U S A, and my soul is death, darkness. Some of the saw, uh, <laughs> fucking death with the clasp of a thousand toads. This one, oh, what? Yeah, toads, not toes, toads with a D. <laughs> yeah, toads. <laughs> the rich vocal repertoire of Oreo baits. I don't know, man. It's all about frogs. Wow. That's a very great strange song Wild title. <laughs> Hit him with the frog noise. I guess. Yeah. Um, it should be I our f- new uh, intro music when we get on stage. We'll, do some, we'll put some frog noise in <laughs> yeah, These guys know fucking. Philom Philom Philomedusa Philom Philomedusa <laughs> 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 Philomedusa <laughs> huh? Yeah <laughs> Be five fo fom Yeah You're gonna get someone walking up to the merch table afterwards being like I can't believe you know that band Yeah, yeah. Dude, I can't believe we do either It's my favorite frog noise band 
just just be like name three songs yeah name a uh, death by a clasp of a thousand toads have you even heard that one bro hoser <laughs> dude hell yeah guy doesn't even know the difference between a frog and a toad <laughs> Dumbass. What an idiot. I should just comment that. Do you even know the... I'm going to do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it right now. On the YouTube uh, video? It, yeah. No, it's uh, on that guy, the guy who commented that we sound too poppy. Oh. I'm just going to get... Gonna, I'm starting to get... roast him with the frog I'm, I'm starting to get into beef with people. Are you? Yeah. Hell Welcome. yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find it. It's all because of that wrestling. Yeah, yeah, now I don't yeah. give a fuck. Anybody come yeah. at me, dude. With pile driver time. Let's go. <laughs> Next brawl at the pub, somebody's getting the Death Valley driver. Do you <laughs> the difference Oof. between a frog and Uh-oh. a toad? It's warning me where it says running out of time. Oh, Should yeah. Just-, just just press the X on that bitch. Okay. Wait. Well, well yeah. Fucking zoom has a limit so we'll send you another link and we'll fire it back up but word uh, and then okay i'm gonna post the frog noise do you even know the difference between a frog and a toad there you go <laughs> fucking poser the full send take that eric moxon i'm sure he's a nice guy he probably doesn't deserve <laughs> to get fucking frog noise like that yeah, but flame broiled he Whoops. doesn't deserve to get frog noise. <laughs> no, whatever. I've just been responding. I, I It's going to be like a, a new thing, I think, for me, is like just responding to people with links to YouTube videos. Just like no, yep. no text. Just here. No context. Listen to that. Uh, here. Here's <laughs> my response. Mid, go back to the mid-2000s YouTube and just rickroll everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to like... um uh going to people's youtube uh comments and doing that just rick rolling it was so much fun like bro yeah. you should check this video out if you like yeah. that <laughs> we used to do that all the time when that was first the thing fucking got yeah. him still works uh you know what we should do is we should get the rick uh we get that video put on a qr code and we'll 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 get one of those vehicle magnets, those big huge vehicle magnets that you stick on your car. <laughs> on the and then when we go on tour, we'll stick this huge QR code on the back of the trailer and everybody will get Rick rolled. And we'll just Absolutely. take like phone videos of the people's reactions as they drive by us. It'll probably be all these would... fingers fuck you. <laughs> I'd back that crowdfunding campaign. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just to yeah, it's like a a twenty dollar crowdfund to get a, a big magnetic sticker. Yeah. Or how about we could even take it up a notch. We could do a bigger crowdfunding um, for a little more money. And then we could have a farmer get that uh, that QR code plowed into his field so that people who fly over. Epic troll, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, they'd have to be using an airplane Wi-Fi. Not all the airplanes have that. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be a tough one. That'd be hard. It'll, they'll get Rick rolled when they land after it finally loads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh god damn it. Actually the song kind of rules. What it was aliens. <laughs> the aliens did it. It's crop circle. <clears throat> yeah, what do you do though if a crop circle's not that. actually a circle? Sorry, was that? I was gonna say I had something I was gonna say and then it just left. Oh, we, we screwed it. That's fine. How it goes, man. <laughs> um I posted uh or my uh my girlfriend uh, shout out to Preets. She wanted me to shout her out. So Joe shout girl. Out well. Um, she posted in Rav's Discord about does anybody have any questions for Stryker because he's about to go on the podcast. Oh, and nice. Yeah. This is this is a really good. I love this question. What does it feel like to be the most Florida band from Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. Feels good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's funny, like we, we did a, a podcast with another guy, uh, yesterday, Tim and I, and he told us all about NASCAR. Sick. Nice. And I, we were like, oh, how did I miss that one? Yeah, it was sick. I like, he just told us like, okay, here's how, here's how the season works. Here's everything about it and stuff. So it's like, I don't know if is, is NASCAR big in Florida though? God, I feel be. like it must be right. There's gotta be. I mean, isn't Florida where the 
what is it the daytona is it daytona yeah, yeah 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 okay yeah. so never mind yeah it's huge there probably yeah. but uh yeah i mean i feel like we'd fit right in in florida probably oh absolutely feels good really. is the answer it feels real good yeah hell yeah <laughs> we spent some time in pensacola you know yeah man it, it it makes sense that you guys in seven kingdoms toured together then yeah our vibes our vibes yeah. work together yeah we're the two most florida bands in north america Damn right <laughs> <laughs> although i heard you know slaughter to prevail oh you guys know that band yeah well, oh wear, yeah they wear the masks they yeah moved, they yeah. moved to florida apparently did they from russia whoa yeah Quite a i didn't jump. know that that's what i heard they're from russia we, we yeah we oh, saw yeah. them here uh which which was a hilarious show and like the the structure of the show was wild it was just them tickets were like 40 bucks and then they they went on super late like they went at, like the doors opened at eight and they didn't go on till like 10 and they were, the, get drunk, they were the they were the only band and they played oh, for wow. an hour and i was like i would what is die. this uh, i would was die crazy. waiting in that crowd for a show it was super funny. I mean, it was fun to watch them. It's it's like a, a spectacle, right? Like, he's yeah. just like a crazy Russian band. So Wild, dude. Wow. Right. I was there. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> they look cool. Shit, those masks are dope. Yeah. Um, I think I ran out of questions. So if you guys have questions for me, then fire away. Well, what's... Uh, okay, so you've been doing merch. How many How many tour dates have you hit so far? So, um, I did the, I've done two tours with seven kingdoms. The first one was the Windrose Rhapsody of Fire tour. That one, I was kind of just like an extra hand. So I would do merch when they were on stage and then I would like help drive and just whatever else they needed. That's awesome. Nice. Um, the headlining tour they just did, I was like full on merch guy. So two tours, probably like 45, close to 50 shows. Nice. Wicked. So what's the, uh, what's the best part so far for you? Um, I've been really, really enjoying just like getting to see one of my favorite bands and like friends of mine just play every night and getting to pe getting to see people that I wouldn't always get to see from various parts of the country. Yeah. Um and also sightseeing's pretty nice when we have the time. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Thick. That you know that's um, part, that's one of the things that I like too is when you're on tour with a band that you really like. Oh yeah. It's like not only are you difference. getting to getting to you know not only are we doing what we love but we're also watching, you know, a band that we like every night. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. Like, it's most of awesome. the tours we've been on have been like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was fun. Like when we went on tour with uh, Primal Fear, it was like we'd we'd been listening to Primal Fear since like you know in high school. Yeah, and everything. So that one would have been sick. When we went on that tour, we were just like, bro, we get to listen to Primal Fear every night. That fucking rules. Whoa, hell um, yeah. Arm wrestle Ralph Sheepers every night or what? And lose, dude. <laughs> dude, he would literally. His, dude, his arms are as big as my fucking head. I believe it. That guy's massive, and he's tall too. Yeah, he's, he's huge. He's a huge guy. We uh we were backstage one time, and I I might have been like warming up or something, getting ready to play, and he just kind of came in and was like, "Oh, do your do your highest loudest, you know, scream or whatever." And I did it, and then he did his, and it was like four times louder than me. It was just like, like insane. He's got that big diaphragm, dude. I was just like, all right, um, <laughs> it's like, all right, like, whatever, bro. You don't even then. have hair, bro. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> bro. You don't even know what frog noise is. Yeah, yeah it's dude. like, yeah, it's like, bro. I'm unfazed. <laughs> no, I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, it got me thinking. I should take some lessons from him. Could be cool. Ooh, he does do lessons. Heaps pipes, does he? Nice. Nice. Next album's just all fucking. Yeah, fucking, yeah. <laughs> Next album is just Primal Fear covers. Yeah, Ooh, that'd be fun. <laughs> it's just painkiller. Blood, sweat, and fear. <laughs> yeah, I'd enjoy it. Yeah, cool. yeah. I'm uh, I'm pretty thankful that the two tours I've done, I like every band has been a ton of fun to be on tour with and just here every night. Sweet. 
Um, why am I getting a phone call? Shut up. What's your Bucky's order? <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> I love their like giant Rice Krispie treat things. Oh, those are really good. Um, was it like the candied cashews or whatever they have? Ooh, I never had those. I like I it's the the it's like the uh peanuts that you'd get in the like like what is it a cone? Oh Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I saw those. Yeah, okay. Those were peanuts. Yeah, there's like peanuts, almonds, cashews, nuts. Oh, okay. Um, and what else? And then it's usually just like whatever snacks are going to like destroy my body but keep me alive <laughs> yeah um the beef the jerky is also really good that's my go-to spot that jerky counter that and the brisket sandwich oh the, yeah the brisket sandwich is really good that's my go-to yeah that's that should fuck my guts up oh yeah it was, every good. Time. It was good but i was like oh. that's how you know you're on tour i got the bucky yuckies bro yeah, <laughs> yeah. a couple I times think- that's one of the things I missed uh, most is being close to Bucky's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why don't they expand through the whole country like that. that that's got to take off. Got to keep it in Texas, brother. Oh, is it a is it a keep it keep it's it in the not, family kind of thing? Not uh, there's there's some in like other states. Like I think the I Alabama actually the first Bucky's I went to I think was in like Georgia. Oh shit! Isn't there one in Florida too? I thought there was one right at the edge of there. Florida. Might be. I don't know. I know. I know. We did stop at one in Alabama. I do remember that down Alabama way. It yeah. might have. It might have been in Alabama. It was like it was somewhere down there. But there's also one in Missouri. I don't remember where in Missouri, but I stopped there in December, coming back from a friend's place to visit, and I have never seen a Bucky's that busy. Oh Oops, really? Like, it like once Boom. I got into the Bucky's, like into the parking area, it took me like five minutes to find an empty spot. Damn! Oh shit! And those are big parking lots. Yeah, we we saw a bride and groom at one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I guess you can get married at the Bucky's, which is like Hell the yeah. fucking. You can do funniest. anything at Bucky's. It's pretty ripping. That should be our next music video. We're just like performing at the gasoline stand at Bucky's. Oh my god, I'd be all about that. Trucks pulling up and shit. Get out of our way. Honk, 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 you know. Dude, no trucks allowed, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No trucks. Oh, what? Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. yeah. They have yeah. like a no truck thing. No. I guess. Fine. Yeah. Seems crazy. Fine. <laughs> they need gas or yeah, whatever. You know, like, <laughs> or is it, do they don't do diesel, maybe? Or? I don't do think diesel? they do diesel. At least I don't remember seeing like diesel there hmm. but uh kevin nash yeah big daddy cool <laughs> um the uh i think it was the windrose rhapsody tour we stopped at a bucky's and while we were there like walking around like getting snacks and shit the bucky's mascot was there and so we were just like and so Dude, we got a group dope. sick we got a group photo with the mascot, and it was oh. one of the best things about that tour. Oh, we got to get one of those. Damn. That's pretty I, rad. I, I can imagine, like, if Seven Kingdoms and Striker go to a Bucky's and see the mascot, all hell is going to break loose. It's going to be Dude. a brawl at the Bucky's. Suplex the fucking Bucky's mascot. <laughs> yeah. Figure five, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck put yeah. Him, put him through Drop the fucking, kick. Uh, where all the like brisket sandwiches are. Just put him through that glass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> violent. <laughs> I do such violence. I bet you you would be like uh like on the most hated list if you did something like that. Like in Texas. If you like they'd just be like, Oh, this is like most most wanted. Can't get back into Texas. Yeah, that's like almost as bad as like defacing the flag or something. Yeah, slamming the the mascot. 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 (laughs) What's it, Death Valley Driver? The fucking mascot. (laughs) I am whoops. 
Yeah, nice you man. Guys hit him with a 3D. Oh yeah, yeah. Suck it. <laughs> uh, that's more like a butterfly. That's kind of yeah. It looks like you're um, cold. Any yeah, uh, I am. Any near death experiences on tour yet? Please. No. Um. Thankfully, no. Right? <clears throat> no, I don't think so. It's been nice. relatively okay. Although when we were driving from, I think it was Atlanta to Greensboro, we were we were doing a show at uh, Hangar eighteen nineteen. We were in like I think Charlotte, and I was of course I was the one driving when this happened. But like I'm trying to like kind of weave through traffic a bit, and I go to pass the car in front of me. And there's another car ahead of me, like that's going a little too slow. So I had like that much room to like get through before I would have had to like break. And so I just like accelerated pretty quick. And I think when I did that, I didn't mean to like rev the engine super hard in Gordita. But as soon as I did that, there was like a pop. And then all of a sudden you can just see like a little bit of smoke coming through the air vents and like no. something dripping down into the passenger side. And I'm like, fuck. Ooh. It was like, oh, what was it? It was like a radiator hose clamp mm. that just like, it was like a plastic clamp or whatever that just snapped. Yeah. And so we, we pulled, we took the like next exit, parked in the Cracker Barrel parking lot, and then spent the next like hour figuring out what was wrong. And then man, we managed to fix it. We tried to call a mobile mechanic. And the guy was just like, yeah, that's outside of my area. Dude, it, dude breaking down dude, on tour, we've done it, like, a lot. So and, uh, sucks. dude, it's such a fucking nightmare just to, like, I mean, luckily, wow, that's not true. We've had we've had some tour ending. Like, we had our... Blew up our trailer. Yeah, blew up the trailer. A different time, we had our, um, I think it's, like, the a crack in the head gasket. Oh, like, that's not oh, good. Oh no! So like oil, oil got yeah. into the coolant or vice versa. Yeah, and it just like we, we pull over. It's, it's like smoking. You pull over, and it's just like cartoon levels of goo just like oh yeah, floating out that's, of the. That's <laughs> like get get a new engine is yeah. what that is. Yeah, yeah, that was a uh, that has curtains is what that is. It, it was curtains. It was absolutely definitely. curtains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a rough one. That one, that one we did like um, we did like a. Go fund me type thing mm. to get out of it. And we had luckily a lot a lot of people were like, oh yeah, like but the old Ford. Yeah. 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 And I think we ended up getting that one fixed. Hmm. Yeah. How did you guys finish that tour? I, I wasn't think, on that one. I, well, I, the, the, we just missed all the rest of the shows. Aww. It was it was like luckily it was kind of towards the end. Yeah. But um we yeah, I think we got that fixed up and then we and then that fucking van broke down again and we left it at the mechanic shop wherever. Just like here you go. <laughs> it's like yeah, this is yours now. You guys we're leaving. Yeah. Like we're not fixing. We can't afford to fucking fix this thing like abandoned vehicle. Yeah. Well, was even that trailer, didn't we end up dropping that trailer off and like somebody like grabbing it from us? The, the guy, the guys who towed it. So the yeah. uh right at the start of the Beast in Black tour, I think it was, right? Yep. Yep. We, uh, Jono was driving and then like, I was in the passenger seat, just like kind of dozing off or whatever. And then I kind of like, I, I think I started smelling something first. Mm -hmm. And then I looked out the, uh, like the side mirror and I see the fucking wheel, like <laughs> from the trailer. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck. It went to the other side of the highway. Yeah, yeah. Fucking scary. Cause yeah, because if that would have hit another car, it would have been bad. Yeah. Like, yeah, Luckily, yeah. there was no one around. And then we... Uh, so anyways, Jono pulled us over, and we were like, holy fuck. So yeah, what happened was like the wheel on the trailer blew. The, the bearing might have seized or something like that. And then it just like... Mm -hmm twisted the it sheared the axle right off oh yeah god damn it yeah. was crazy it was just like whoa that's a fucked up thing to happen but yeah uh, it was a good thing we were driving straight because if we if that would have happened on a corner it, it would have been messy i'm sure could oh been, yeah for sure it could have been curtains it could have been very well <laughs> could have been curtains yes but yeah like uh 
we ended up getting towed. We just rented a, a U-Haul trailer. And then we just told the guy, like, if you want this trailer, like, if you want, like, there was the, the guy who towed it. Mm. Just like, if you want this trailer, you can put a new axle on it or whatever you want. You can just, yeah. you can fucking keep it. Because we don't have, like, give it the, to you. we don't have the means to, like, dispose of a trailer on tour. It's like, how do you right. even, yeah. yeah. So the guy was like, oh, he was like, hell yeah. Because sure. I think it's like, you know, you fix the axle, put some tires on it, you could sell it, make you got to make a thousand decent, bucks. Yeah, you got decent, oh, or, yeah. you, or you got a trailer. You know? yeah, or you got yeah. a trailer. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, yeah, that was, that was only one of the many near-death experiences mm-hmm. we've had. Almost drove into a tornado in Florida. Hell yeah. yeah. Did we? Well, we were getting tornado warnings. Remember when we oh, were down yeah. there? Yeah. It was like, we never saw the actual tornado, no. but. Didn't y'all like almost play in a hurricane or something? Oh yeah, that, that was, was yeah, that's for you. That was, that was uh, there yet. What was that? that was the start of the Dark Tranquility tour that we went mm-hmm. to, and it was like, yeah, that was uh, we were on our way into Florida, like down to t- down to Miami or Fort Lauderdale, where the first show was, while everybody was leaving, and we were like literally the only car. It was like from a movie. <laughs> Everybody we like leaving. the only fucking. <laughs> dumb idiots that are driving down into the like and like luckily luckily our van at that time had the uh diesel engine that's that same oh, that might yeah. have been the tour it, it died on us but yeah. uh um yeah everybody everybody was out of gas and we went to a walmart and there was no water left and we were like that's uh, probably yep. a bad sign people hoard it yeah. that happened in japan when i was there for that bigger that big earthquake is all the first thing to go was the with the water all the bread and all the water gone. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, like rice the cans of ravioli. Yeah, I mean, they probably don't have that in Japan. Cans of ravioli, maybe not so much. Yeah, yeah Chef Boyard, you yeah. in Japan? I don't know. Chef maybe if you went to like an nuts. import store, they might. I mean, I didn't spend eight years in Japan to eat Chef Boyard, so I wasn't <laughs> yeah. looking for it. You know, <laughs> um, I had other shit to eat. Hang on, have you ever had Boyard? Boy, are these nuts? Oh, 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 no. He's been finish him. Yeah. Fucking roasted. Yeah. <laughs> Flame broiled. Jeez. Hell yeah, man. I, I have definitely watched your guys' podcast a lot while I'm at work. <laughs> nice, yeah. He knows all the lingo. Yeah. yeah. Curtains. Dude, you will never stop saying curtains. Once you start, yeah. it's it's just there to stay. It's funny Dude, because I, oh no, go ahead. I was gonna say I have not been able to stop saying like roasted or nice. shredding or swore. <laughs> I know it's funny. You know it's what it is, is these are like things that Simon started. A lot, yeah, yeah. A lot yeah, of them are much. are um Simon just and then he just keeps saying them and then you just start saying them. It's just I don't know what it is. He's got a, a contagious vocabulary. He does, yeah. yeah. Like he does. Like just yelling shredding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. It's now it's a thing now. Everybody does it. Um Yeah, sports is a good one. Curtains is um curtains is one that I sometimes forget isn't a common thing to say. And I'll just say it in like normal conversation like with somebody who has nothing to do with us or the band and i'll be like oh yeah that would be curtains and they're like what like, you know, like, say, like, like curtains <laughs> and they're like what do you mean that's it's curtains what do you mean i'm like well you know like like a show curtains closing it, it means it's over it's finished they're, oh but it's like if I somebody keep up, they start saying yeah. it. <laughs> but it's like the first time i heard it like i got it i feel like i understood it because uh, right. i mean we're in show business right it's like i feel like you're in show business and somebody says oh it's curtains you might know what that means, right? Like a curtain right. call. Um, but yeah, I guess not everybody doesn't translate to every <laughs> every demographic. <laughs> not everybody can be cultured. I guess yeah. not, you know. Cultured swine who don't right? know curtains yeah. or shredding or sports. What do you go home and bathe in a mud pen? Jeez. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice. Any other uh any other notable uh so why'd you move? Yeah. What's going on um, in the walkie of mills? It just worked out. Um, I wanted to move out. I had moved back into my parents' house because rent for a one-bedroom apartment in 
Texas or in like the DFW area was like at least a thousand eleven hundred dollars a month for a one bedroom. Oh damn, that's so US I'm like, dollars. yeah, hey yeah. mom. And so that's I funny. moved, I moved back in with my parents for a year, and then one of my friends who lives up here lived up here in Wisconsin. Uh, we decided to move in together, and so we moved nice. in. I think we got the place in December first, and then I moved uh, last month. Sweet, nice. So, bro, yeah. if my parents lived in this city, I'd move in with them. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I guess my parents do. Yeah, yeah. And this place is like a two bedroom for like eight fifty a month. Mm. So, like, nice. I'm not. Complaining. Hey, that's pretty good. Jeez, that's less than I pay right now. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. Yeah. Eight fifty a month? Hell yeah, that's great rent. Split between two people too? Fucking right. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. That is sick. Yeah. I thought that was just you. I was like, yeah, it's not bad, but. <laughs> nice. yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. Any other uh, notable events on tour? What, uh, what have you been involved in? Any tour pranks? Ah. Oh. Yes. All right. So this sounds like fun. My my favorite one was the uh it was the last show on the Rhapsody of Fire tour in New York City. We were playing at the Gramercy. And I think when we were when we were in Florida, because we were in Florida, I think like five days before that show, um, Keith had ordered a like a 24 pack of inflatable pickaxes. And so we had those for windrows for their last show. And so on the way from, I think it was Philadelphia to New York City, it like me, Keith, Sabrina, we're all just like in the van uh, driving to the next show and we're just like inflating pickaxes. We had like Bucky's beach balls that we got at some point that we inflated for the show. And so during uh during uh Diggy Diggy Hole, they they come out to do their like encore or whatever, or their like encore, and uh they finish their set with Diggy and they come back they come on stage and right before the like song really kicks in, someone has a really good video of the whole song. You just see Cam just like walking up on stage holding two pack pickaxes with his pit vipers on, and he's just like and so it's like me, like everybody in Seven Kingdoms, me, um, some of the guys from Rhapsody, and we all just have inflatable pickaxes. A couple of us are wearing Bucky's onesies, and we're just having oh, a great dope. time on stage. Nice. Fuck yeah. Man, we should have had Bucky's onesies for that Sucks to Suck video. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been sick. And then I think that was my favorite one. We did kind of the same thing for Rhapsody when they played Emerald Sword. We just got up there and we're just doing whatever the hell. I think Cam started doing push-ups in front of Alex Staropoli. Nice. Um, lording, lording over him. Yeah, push-ups. Yeah, I think I started. I started sword fighting with the other merchandiser on stage during Emerald Sword with Emerald Swords. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then yeah, on the last tour, like. Last tour was like a little more tame with the tour pranks. We just like get on stage, fuck with the drummer, um, and just have fun. Like we did that for. Uh... Actually, I think we only did that for Empress. It's like they were finishing their last song, and like a couple of us, like a couple of us, and then like some of the Osiren guys hopped up on stage and were just mm-hmm. doing whatever. It was fun. It was good fun. That's another. Uh, Canadian band there, hey, from Calgary, aren't they, Osiren? Yeah, 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 yeah. They were so much fun to be on the road with. Cool. Shout out. Yeah, they, they. I mean, we played with them in Calgary, and they just seem like yeah. great guys. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The singer's really, really like, really like humble, nice guy, really nice guy. Yeah, yeah. he is he's crazy he's, to talk he, to. It's funny because he like looks pretty intense. Yeah, he looks like he'd be might be a mean guy. Yeah, but he's yeah. Not like, oh hey man, what's up? I was like, oh shit. <laughs> all right, cool man. Yeah, yeah, he was he was super cool. Like everybody in that, everybody on that tour was like the nicest people to be on tour with. Damn boys, that rules. Yeah, they were damn. <laughs> they were absolutely damn nice. 
sick. the damnest. Yeah, I I remember when Beast in Black was like, no tour, no tour pranks, <laughs> no tour pranks allowed. It wasn't even them, really. It no. was like it was one guy. It was uh, not an even think it was him. I think it was no. Sam. Like they're you think it was the, yeah? The, they were, yeah, it was the tour manager who was like, mm. they don't, they're not into that. Yeah, care. yeah. Maybe she asked right. them. Yeah, but, but I was like, I told her I was like, I'm gonna do it anyways. She was like, no. I was like, please <laughs> fucking don't. Please don't. I'm doing you would have gotten... She, I, I didn't do it, obviously. Yeah. Well, we didn't even get to finish that tour. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Who I knows? Maybe the, we would uh, have. The throwing cheeseburgers out into the crowd during Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was pretty cool. Was so yeah. Yeah. These yeah. were good cheeseburgers. I think that was, in, that was in Lawrence, right? In Kansas? That was Kansas, yeah. yeah. I almost... I would like almost last minute said fuck it and bought tickets to that show oh. just to go because i'm like oh this would be so much fun um because i was at the dallas and san antonio shows for that tour yeah and yeah, yeah. i was like that close to going to lawrence but i knew if i did that on like a whim sabrina probably would have beat the shit out of me for spending that much money just for them <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool show it was a nice venue yeah the venue was really nice we got hammered after that show too yeah i had a, the best soup and sandwich i'd had that whole tour at a place across the street too we just had this guy come up this might have been our our end of our tour like why we got covid <laughs> like we had a guy come up and like he just like was like yo i bought you guys a shot or or he asked us what we oh, what we would yeah. want and we're like i was like i don't know maybe like tequila sure and then he know. brings over, it's just like a plastic cup, just like full of tequila. And like, I didn't really realize how big of a shot it was until I took it and was like, had to do two gulps of it. I was just like, oh. <laughs> I've what I maximum what? damage. It was like, oh, fuck. oh I remember <laughs> that damn. guy. God, yeah. He was a punisher. Yeah, he's like a big guy. Was like, oh, everybody drinks. And was yeah. like, he was fucking pumped, though. He was yeah. super stoked. Yeah, which is great. Yeah, nice. and then just yeah, destroyed that's, us with shots. That's another thing I've experienced now being on tour is the Punishers. Ah, oh, yeah. Now you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's Can't, your? Uh, it, you do you have like a particular Punisher story you got, or just general punishment? Uh, just kind of general. It was less like. I think for the most part, it was less like me specifically getting punished, but more like me being in the vicinity of a Punisher punishing. In in proxy to the punishment? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of doing that thing where I'm just like, just don't, just don't pay attention. You're, don't you're make eye contact. And is just yeah. crawling. You're just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> don't make eye contact. Basically. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. funny, man. Like. I mean, there's good Punishers and bad Punishers. Like, sure. the Punishers sure. that are, like, really into your music and are stoked to talk to you and stuff like that, who just maybe, you know, they don't maybe get what's going on. It's like, it, you're the excited. one guy at the merch booth, and then this person's just talking to you for, like, 30 minutes while you're trying to, like, help other people and stuff. It's like, chill out a little bit. But Yeah. Um, and then there's the ones who are, like, my favorite are, like, the the really drunk guys who are, like, just there for no reason yeah like they weren't even at the show where it's like you know they yeah. came in after uh, or something like they're yeah. like the bar flies <laughs> which yeah. is or like, the or the people who come and buy drinks and like put them on the stage right beside your pedals or some shit like oh yeah oh my <laughs> god i just remembered a great story so this wasn't this was like before i started touring this was when um Cam was on tour with Hypocrisy, TMing for them right before Prog oh, yeah. Power last year. Mm -hmm. um, they played in Dallas, like I think the week before Prog Power. So I went to that show, was hanging out with Cam, keeping him company at the merch table, and also like keeping the merch because they had to, it was at uh, Amplified before it shut down. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. um, he had like one of those tents over it, over his merch table. And it was super windy, so I spent like half the show just holding on to it, <laughs> keeping it from flying away. Jeez. But afterwards, um, 
like I was hanging out with Cam. He had like given me a tour pass and was like, here, come on, I'll like introduce you to the guys in hypocrisy. And so go to the green room and I'm just there hanging out. And Cam goes to like do tour manager stuff, whatever. And so it's just like me, Peter, and I think the bass player and drummer of hypocrisy just hanging out. And we're just kind of sitting there, standing there, whatever. And then all of a sudden, someone walks into the green room from the outside door and just like walks in, has a beer in his hand. Just like, hey, is there a hypocrisy in here? And no one answers him for like five seconds until the drummer who's like sitting right next to the door just kind of goes, nah, man, never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, okay. Whatever. And Smart he, guy. And he doesn't take the hint. He's just like, you guys have never heard of hypocrisy and starts going on about like, they're like sick. And then he mentions like, starts mentioning some other bands like, and because I assume because like he knows that hypocrisy is from Sweden, he starts like over pronouncing words. Oh, like, like Swedish words. No, just like, he's like saying like, Oh, like, uh, I don't remember what he was saying. Like something. I don't think he mentioned Metallica, but it was just like, oh, you know, like Metallica. Just like over pronouncing them to like make it easier to understand. Oh, okay. oh or yeah. like, yeah. like I, I do that sometimes too. Yeah, you know, like like Man of War. Yeah, and and everybody's just like, oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, those are good albums, and like everybody's just got the energy of please get the fuck out of here. Can't take Cam the finally. Mm -hmm. Cam finally rolls back in. He's talking to the guys about like, all right, like bus calls at this time. We need to be out of the green room at this time. And he sees the dude and just goes, how did you get in here? Yeah. And the guy's like, about to get RKO'd brother. Yeah. You better walk out. <laughs> and he's just like, I just walked in through the door, man. And Cam's like, well, I don't know you. So you're going to have to leave. And the dude like, Props to this guy because he had more balls than like I would have. It might be because he was drunk, but he goes, I don't know you either. He just had no idea where he was. Hey, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. And so, like, Cam like grabs him by the shoulder and starts like nut, like put slowly pushing him out the door as this guy's talking. <laughs> and he's finally <laughs> on the other side of the door, and the guy goes, well, what's your name, man? And Cam goes, tour manager, shuts the door. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Nice. That's funny. That's that dope. was the <laughs> that was the one of the coolest things I've experienced on tour. <laughs> or even just like at a show. Just Cam big dog and some guy yeah. in the green room. That we needed Cam at Vakken when uh, what's his name? Kept sneaking backstage with us. Oh yeah, we had there was a there was a dude. Uh, he was all right. He was all yeah, right, but... nice guy, big fan yeah. of the band. Yeah, but he kept like like digging under the fence to get in the backstage, and he'd be like, "Hey guys, what's up?" And we're like, "Uh, where did you, how did you get in here again?" Yeah, Hell he was yeah. just like around, and 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 I didn't want to be like the one to be like you shouldn't be here, but yeah. I was also kind of like nervous that. We you were know. gonna get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. it's like, why do like, you bring this guy back here? And it's like, well, he's well, hanging we out with you guys. And yeah, like, he just is here. Or something. Like, How'd you get back? He's like, oh, I climbed the fence. And then the next time was like, oh, I I dug a dude, hole. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> he's like, he had a white shirt and it was covered in dirt. And he was like, yeah, I went under the fence, <laughs> all carved up and shit. <laughs> Like, bro, like, I just want to yeah. hang out with I, you guys. I, I kind of like respected it because I was like, man, that's like in, an insane thing to do. And it's like, if you can pull that off, bro, like he wasn't hurting anybody. He was just hanging out, watching shit. It was, it was like, that's like Looney Tunes shit, though, right? Like, yeah, it's hilarious. Seen digging holes under the fence. I mean, props <laughs> to that guy. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. If you look at my, uh, my, I think it's my, top facebook banner on my personal page it's got um you know the picture for the cory took from the drums at vakin oh yeah, yeah and if you look out you can see the guy with his arms raised like <laughs> higher than everybody i think he's on someone's shoulders but you can see yeah. it clear as day and that's that's the guy that's our boy that's hell that's yeah he's having yeah. the time of his life yeah we had to kind of yeah. like explain we're like bro like we don't want to get in trouble 
And we also don't want him to get kicked yeah. out of Wagen, you know, like he's enjoying himself there, right? You know, yeah, right. Really, it's like a privilege for us to be there, you know? Yeah, I mean? that too. Like yeah. it's, it's, you know, we're not the headlining bands. We can't yeah. you know, yeah. be doing crazy shit, right? Yeah. It's like we would like to play it again at some point. So yeah. don't want to get in shit, but yeah. He's probably listening. We'll see him again in Europe. Yeah, he'll be there. He was at, he was at our show in the Netherlands too, wasn't he? It was at a couple of them, I think. I think so. Yeah. Nice, nice. I remember the uh, the stories from Vakin about how I think you guys were ran into uh, was it Jeff Loomis? Mm. <laughs> sure. And Tim and Tim's just like on like a dirt pile or something, just like yeah. I can't. Yeah, he was. I we didn't know where he was, and then you turn around and he's like passed out on a bench. Like it was his birthday the same day yeah. we played, so yeah. he was like, yeah, he was pretty. Uh, turned up he was i saw jeff loomis so i was like this guy's not getting away from me brother yeah <laughs> i said hi to him and got pizza beside him yeah that's about all i did all i I, I have met him before and it was on the seventy thousand tons oh, ah yeah. and i was in the process of stuffing my face full of pizza and you know it was i had had a few fosters yeah let's say and i was just like you like jason becker and he was like, yeah, obviously. And I was like, oh, that's <laughs> sick. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? He laughed. It was super funny. Was it was it the podcast y'all did with Rav where you guys were talking about you being punishers? Oh, I've definitely done it. I did it to Beast in Black when they were here. Oh, yeah, we punished them pretty good. I, I like, well, the next day I was just like, ooh. Was I that, was I that fucking <laughs> guy? Was, that, was I obnoxious? I Oh, whoops! It's like those guys are great. Now they fucking hate us. Bro. <laughs> Never touring with these guys again. Uh, I was just trying to make a point to them about like uh, something about White Snake or something like that, and I just, you know, I was talking to like Fell Anton. I mean, they, they're great guys. So yeah, I mean, it was yeah. lots of fun. But but yeah, I always wonder sometimes. I'm just like, ooh, was that was that me being a punisher? Like, I don't know. I if you been. get me on a tangent too, and it's hard for me to shut up sometimes too. So I'm sure I've been that guy once or yeah. twice. Yeah, yeah, it it happens. I'm yeah. sure I'm sure I've done it. Well, you get fired up, you get excited, you know. And you just, I don't know. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Sometimes alcohol is a factor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cool. I mean, it's so easy to be a punisher on the. Uh, I did it to Uli John Roth too. Yeah, you did. Because he was like on, yeah. So he was just like sitting in a chair, like, you know, looking out at the ocean or whatever. And I came and like stood over him and was like, hey, man, I really liked your set. And like, <laughs> and he was just like, okay, hey, man, brother. <laughs> yeah. This would be really funny, but I did really like his set. He was fucking awesome. He probably was boat. awesome. That yeah. guy, oh, I that bet. Guy, yeah. yeah. He was actually incredibly good. And he had a, the bass player was singing. And he was fucking awesome. Was oh damn, these guys rule. Sometimes those older guys, they just fucking, they just got have it. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. We gonna be damn older, go older guys one day. Damn old boys. Not now. We're like twenty five years old. Right? Yeah. No, no, yeah. <laughs> We're young guys. Though. Fucking Benjamin Button coming up, bro. That. <laughs> next next album, we're all wearing diapers. <laughs> Jesus. Like baby, it's a new kind of baby metal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> old man metal. Everybody yeah. hated this. What's yeah. that Fallout meme? Everyone disliked this. Yeah, dudes in their in diapers. Everyone will remember this. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, that'd be a pretty shameful. Oof. Yeah. All of us in in, in diapers. Yeah. yeah. Next music video. <laughs> My bass is shaped like a rattler, like a rattle toy. <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> God damn. I mean, I bet you there's a grindcore band that's already doing this. Babies, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like oh, there, diaper, there has to be diaper metal. I, my friend in Japan, he had he made a new band, and the band's called Loaded Diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're they're pretty awesome, actually. It's like grungy rock stuff. That is a great name. It's pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. Um. Oh, last last question. I think I have. Um. 
I guess way. it's less a question, more of a request, but like please make mad with power happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to play mad with power. When is it again? Is it in Boom. September? It's uh it's usually in August. It's usually the third weekend of August, but uh-huh. this year I think it's the first weekend because that same weekend is when Mad with Power normally is. Metallica is also playing like in town. Oh, that, oh that's shit. a tough one to be. <laughs> yeah. Man. So I think Ty was just like, Yeah, let's not. Yeah, why well, tempt fate? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, like we've we've had a couple opportunities to do it but it's like the timing never worked out like so like 2022 we're in europe until like the day before or something like that yeah it'd be like it it just like logistically for us to come play one show in the states is like brutal because of the visas yeah yeah so it's like we we'd have to like book a tour and then that would have been like us on tour for like two months or something it was just would have been too long so but yeah, I mean, we we definitely will if we can. It looks like such an awesome festival. I watched like a bunch of the live stream they did this year. Yeah. It was sick. It's, God, it's so much fun. Sick. We want to play all the festivals. Yeah. yeah. Really. <laughs> you know. perfect. In yeah. a perfect world, we'd play them all. Right. Yeah, I'll be at, uh, I'll be at Legions of Metal this year. I'm oh, super sick. excited yep. for that. Nice. Yeah, yeah, there's some good... Uh, yeah, a lot of homies. Are. Some hometown homies going to be there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I saw the like initial announcements of like UTA, Striker, Greyhawk, and I'm like, I don't need any more bands. I am sold. Nice. Yeah, it's a sick lineup. I'm I'm stoked on that one. Pretty good, yeah. Hyrax, too, is going to be there. I don't know if we're going to get yeah. a chance to see them. Oh, maybe not. Because they're on the, a different day. Or are they the same? No, I think they're on a different day. I don't know. They're up on the, the top two rows, too. So, I don't know. Yeah. UTA and us are same day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sick. I think it's... I think the day you guys play... I don't know the full order, but I'm pretty sure the main stage order is, like, Greyhawk, and then you guys, and then UTA. Nice. Sick. So, that's just, like, two, three hours of just, like, heaven for me. Just straight up shredding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to be curtains for your neck the next day. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be oof city. Yeah. Yeah. That's like uh, when we did the, the, the bumps for the, the, the wrestling thing. It like just reminded me of like what it's like the day after the first day of tour. Yeah. You do your first show and headbang the whole time and then your neck's just fucked. Yeah. So exactly what it felt like whiplash <laughs> that's what the the instructor who is teaching us he's like essentially basically every time that you take a bump your your body is going through a, a minor car accident yeah basically good so it's like you go through a pro a pro wrestler in his career will will have essentially thousands of car accidents happen to his neck which is like oh, oh this has got to be good for Dude, you i wonder why he was addicted to painkillers that's, that's weird it, that's hey, weird right. yeah. <laughs> damn man yeah how much time do we have left on this i don't know it says 3 minutes oh shit 3 minutes and 30 seconds 3 minutes you got one more question or anything else you want to cram in there before it's curtains <laughs> um uh tour with seven kingdoms again i'll just throw that out there again okay if i keep saying it it'll happen sweet yeah i mean we we, in the we absolutely want to so it's it'll it's just a matter of getting it sorted out yeah right yeah yeah get it booked yeah i think that's all i got cool, sweet it's good hanging out with you man yeah this was a lot of fun sweet yeah. we're gonna just have to start getting more people on yeah I wonder how many people is too many to put on like the Zoom. Oh yeah, is there a maximum like amount of people that can log into one Zoom call? There's got to be. I think I think you can have like I was looking at it getting ready for this call. I think there's like I think you can do like at least up to 25 people. Imagine trying to do like 100 super Zoom. Hit the super Zoom on them. Centurion Zoom. 
it's all 100 people 100 yo, beers in 100 did. minutes <laughs> <laughs> 100 people 100 beers 100 minutes let's go that would be absolute nonsense of a podcast i wonder how many people like if we if we did like a sign up thing and we're like you know sign up if you want to do it yeah you know, there's this many could flaw. be fun i mean just for fun like you, you'd have to have a talking stick for that one that's the oh, biggest yeah. thing like that's what i was wondering like if we had like you know five or six people on zoom it's like hard to uh like people kind of talk over each other sometimes yeah it's kind of hard to like uh, you know. man if you go back to like our first two or three podcasts we were all really bad for that like we've <laughs> we've, we've improved significantly in that area i think yeah, there's like a, an art to it now yeah yeah we're artists yeah we're podcast artists <laughs> potters p-a-w-g bud <laughs> yeah yeah well that's a good idea we should think about doing something like that it'd be fun yeah. and then just like you know put it up on youtube yeah yeah Get an entire tour package on a podcast. Dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would be good promo for like upcoming stuff. You know? Yeah. 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 It's true. And then, and then Cam can finally stop hassling me about getting him. Dude, on we'll just get him on. We'll just do a Zoom with him. I mean, it'd be more for fun sure. to do it in person for sure. But like uh, doing it over Zoom is not too bad, actually. We got a green screen. In- I wonder if we could green screen Cam in here. That'd be sick. <laughs> just, like, set it up, and yeah. then after, we just, like, put him on. Yeah. Dude, that'd be so funny to get, like, a mannequin and put his head- have, like, a green head on the mannequin. And, oh, my God. And then just have the audio of his thing, and I could have a string. We could cut the chin out. I could have oh. a string, and I could pull the string up and down, so it's... Less than a minute here. We're so going to get cut off. Oh. oh, no. All right, we'll we'll figure that out. Yeah. All right, good talking with you, man. Yeah, we'll see you in yeah, Chicago, man. Yeah, see you guys in Chicago. Peace. Ready. Peace.